Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Keemstar. Keemstar is a very popular YouTuber here on the platform. One of my favorites and one of my one of the ones I respect more than a lot of the others. I have a lot of respect for Keemstar. He's the reason I have a channel that does news. Now, I don't tend to do YouTube drama that much, but he said something the other day on Twitter that really kind of just irked me, just kind of pissed me off a bit. He was tweeting about anxiety and basically making light of it, acting as if people that have anxiety could just wish it away at will, that it's just people trying to get attention, and that have, that being anxious is just part of the human experience. And that it, you, it's just something that comes and goes. But if you watch other YouTubers that deal with anxiety, like one of my other favorites, Boogie2988, you realize that anxiety is not something that just goes away. It can rear its ugly head at any moment. Anxiety isn't just feeling nervous when you go out to do something. Anxiety can prevent you from even going out the door to begin with. I've dealt with things like this in my life. You know, I dealt with it a few years ago when I went through one of the darkest parts of my entire life where I didn't want to live anymore. To watching a friend of mine deal with depression and anxiety and I hate I hated watching what I saw it killed me inside every single day to watch him suffer to see him in pain and yet people like Keemstar who don't deal with it want to act as if it doesn't matter like it didn't happen now I lost a little respect for Keemstar in that tirade of his on Twitter about anxiety because I've watched it happen I've watched you know people that are completely mentally sound people lose it over anxiety and depression and mental illness luckily my friend has moved on was able to get the help he needed and has become a has you know finished doing some things that I was glad he he was able to accomplish I had a friend back in the early 2000s when I first got to college who ended up leaving college because of depression and back then I didn't get it back then I was a prick I was just like get over it just like Keemstar stop faking it it's all in your head then I watched it happen to friends. Then I watched it happen to me. Mental illness is no joke. Anxiety is not a joke. It's not something people can just wish away. I wish it was. I wish it was something that never reared its ugly head in the back of my mind. I, I wish I never dealt with that. There are a lot of things I haven't experienced and haven't done. Because I am scared to death. There are things that I haven't been successful at. Because things have told me, a little voice in the back of my head has told me time and time again, Jacob, you're not good enough. You can't be successful. You're not good enough. And finally, I was able to stuff that little voice down in a little box and tell it to go to hell. But that only happened because I was able to find somebody to talk to about it. I was able to seek help to calm down some of those problems I was dealing with. But I dealt with those problems even before the issues that came and got me back in 2014. But I am sick and tired of people that don't deal with it on a daily basis, that don't have any severe mental illnesses of any kind, acting as if it doesn't matter, acting as if you're faking. I was that guy. 
I was that prick. And then I realized over the years that I was just leading or helping create more stigma for those people that need help. So if you need help, if you have depression or anxiety, you're dealing with these things or some other mental illness, please seek help. Screw what anyone tells you. They're going to, people are going to try and tell you that, you know, you shouldn't get, you shouldn't go seek counseling for this reason or that reason. Don't listen to them. If you're depressed or you're, or you're, you, you, you deal, you're dealing with anxiety, especially if it's debilitating on either, either front, seek help immediately. At least, if nothing else, find a friend that you can talk to. And hopefully, it won't be that prick that I was back in 2000, 2001. Now, depression and anxiety and things like that are things that can be overcome or at least mitigated. But you, some people need help for that. So please, stop acting as if anxiety is some kind of joke. Okay? If In Kingstar, if you haven't dealt with it in your lifetime, or haven't watched somebody suffer through it, I suggest you do a little research before you go tweeting about it. Walk a mile in someone else's shoes for a change. I mean, I, I still think Keem's a great guy. I just think he, I don't think he understands mental health. Especially not anxiety. But anyhow, this has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck, and I'll see you down the road.